uh, Mr. Goss was, had a couple questions about that, so I'll just let Rosemary, I guess, answer the questions that he had. Yeah. So, so the actual physical testing of that uh, reservoir facility that's out on the site, the existing reservoir that's there, there was no physical destructive testing. Um, we looked. Mary, I, w nice. I was under the impression this whole time, even before I sat up here, that this tank was failing, and that's why we needed the uh, sixteen million dollar loan. Um, the city put on a presentation stating that people were going may die if we didn't do this. So what kind of testing have we conducted on the on the facility itself to know whether it's failing or not or observational um, testing we've gone out and we've looked at the facility structural experts have looked at this facility but can you so I, I did email you and we had a discussion about this um, today or I don't I know you got back to me today and uh, would you be able to give me those names? I don't know if we could talk about those now, or can you send me that information? The, so I, I sent the uh, information that was requested to the city manager. I'm sorry if it didn't okay. reach you, but the engineer is Brady. Okay. I just I would like to uh, do some due diligence to reassure us that this is what's happening. We have buildings and just structures everywhere that's been they've been around for hundreds of years and and they withstand the time you know time mm -hmm. and uh it's my professional opinion that this facility is important to the city's water supply i understand that i do but i also understand that 16 million dollars over 30 years can add up to what 32 35 million after uh interest yeah, my uh, well, and the, fortunately, we're very close to getting the state revolving loan fund, which would allow us to get the money at uh, one point eight percent interest over that time period. So there's a significant savings over getting um, funding through commercial paper uh, avenues. Uh, plus, the amount that they would loan us would be the actual construction cost plus any. Uh, cost that went into developing the project and completing the project. So it's not like you go out and you get a loan, you actually end up um, hiring a contractor, making payments, and making a request to, to draw money against the loan. So at the end of the process, you're actually borrowing what you need for this particular facility improvement. Yeah, I, I understand that. And um, if it turns out this facility is is in good shape and we didn't need to build another one then we would have uh, more supply of water correct more storage uh you wouldn't have any more storage than you have today well, this if is we a build replacement a, if we built the new if we built the new one and the old one is good and we can still use it we would have another facility to store water you could you could look at that but you'd also have to evaluate all the other appurtenances that go with the system to see how water moves around Mm -hmm. So there would need to be some hydraulic modeling associated with that. Well, I'm willing to continue moving forward, but I would like some uh, due diligence. I would like some kind of report from an engineer or something to 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 ensure us that we're doing we're taking the right steps. Mm -hmm. Well, Rosemary is actually an engineer. She's the head engineer of the city of Upland. Well, there's there could be core samples done. There could be X-rays done, and if none of that was done, like mm -hmm. if we didn't do that, and we're looking at because we have. Um, rebar that's exposed and it has a little bit of rust on it you know it's, it's totally different I, I'd rather not spend the money or put us in the hole if we don't have to mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying I, I, I just want to be on this, keep keep our finances on the safe side and I'm, I'm willing to go forward still and improve this now, don't get me wrong I'm not saying we need to stop or anything but I just I just want reassurance is all I'm asking for yeah, I, 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 again, um, while the facility is out of service, we don't have access to imported water. Is there any way we can have someone look at it while it's in service? I think the kind of testing that you're asking to be done requires the facility to be um, out of service. Okay. Can I direct staff to seek someone that and get some kind of information whether we can do it or not sure okay thank you well, questions uh, okay, okay go ahead so before we begin any construction we would be putting out a request for proposal is that correct for the building of the new water storage reservoir 
Yes, we would be putting out um, not a request for proposal, but a, a request for public bids. Okay. So we'll go through a public bidding process. And the Goss Company would also be eligible for putting a bid out for um, restoring it at that time? Sure, they can bid on the plans and specs if they're appropriately licensed. Okay. And can get bonds and all those other things. Okay, I have no further questions.